Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital, and in this video I'll be comparing Flutterflow and Adalo. I'll be unraveling their key features, ease of use, pricing models, and customer support to help you make an informed decision on which platform suits your needs best. So, whether you're a seasoned developer looking to streamline your process or a creative mind with a great app idea but no coding skills, this video is for you, so let's get started. Flutterflow is a powerful no-code app development platform that allows you to bring your app ideas to life without needing to write a single line of code. On the other hand, Adalo is a platform that makes creating apps easy. It allows users to design, build, and launch their own apps without needing any prior coding knowledge. When it comes to features, both Flutterflow and Adalo offer a variety of tools to help users create their ideal app. Flutterflow stands out with its drag-and-drop user interface, Google's Firebase integration, and the ability to turn designs into real applications without any knowledge of coding. It also provides sample applications, downloadable Android package kits (APKs), team collaboration tools, and a drag-and-drop visual interface. On the other hand, Adalo offers a variety of templates to get you started along with a range of customizable features. It also provides the ability to add third-party integrations, allowing users to extend their app's functionality. In terms of ease of use, both Flutterflow and Adalo prioritize user-friendliness. Flutterflow's drag-and-drop interface is intuitive and easy to use, even for those without any coding knowledge. Its interface is clean and straightforward, making it easier for users to navigate and build their apps. Adalo also offers a user-friendly interface with its drag-and-drop feature, Users can easily select components, drag and drop them into their app, and customize them as needed. In terms of pricing, both platforms offer different plans to cater to different needs. Flutterflow offers four distinct plans. The first plan is a free plan with no monthly costs. Following that is the standard plan, which is available at a cost of $30 per month. The pro plan, priced at $70 per month, offers additional features. Lastly, there's the Teams plan, which is also priced at $70 per month and caters to team-based projects. On the other hand, Adalo also offers four options, starting with the free plan at $0, then the starter package for $36, the professional plan for $53, and concluding with the team plan at $160. It's worth noting that while both platforms offer free trials, the features available in these trials may be limited. It's important to check what each plan includes before making a decision. Also, good customer support can make or break a user's experience, and both Flutterflow and Adalo understand this. They both offer robust customer support with various channels available for users to get help when they need it. So, when choosing between the two, consider your specific needs and requirements, and how each platform can meet them. Therefore, it's recommended to test both platforms to see which one best suits your requirements. To get started, simply sign up using the links provided in the video description. Thank you for considering this option. I hope you found this video useful and learned something new. If so, please give it a thumbs up to show your appreciation. If you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.